College students have become far more vocal in their support for socialism, partly because the government has put them so deeply in debt with student loans. But it turns out that making everything free is expensive. It raises the question of who's going to pay for it all. Kevin Phillips of Campus Reform visited a campus recently to get that question answered. Here's part of what he found. I feel like everyone should have like um, free um, education and health care. How are we going to pay for those? Oh, God. I mean... Us. Us, yeah, I guess. Yeah. Who, in your mind, should pay for all of the free things? All of the free things? Well, some of it should come from taxes, but the government should pay for it. But the government is funded by taxes. Yeah. I don't know where the money would come from, but they can figure it out. Okay. <laughs> the people with a good idea and a good reason to spend their tax money wouldn't mind actually paying more taxes. Kevin Phillips joins us tonight. They can figure it out. That seemed to sum up a lot of the responses you got. That is exactly what happened. These were all people in Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez's district, I might add. Uh, and I think it's, it's easy to laugh along and get caught up in seeing how funny it is, but it's ultimately not a laughing matter uh, at just how popular socialism has become. Millennials who are the most likely to support it are now the largest voting bloc in America. And millions of them are graduating college every year with a warped perception of reality. I think that's where this starts is college campuses. I've been on about 50 college campuses in the past year with the Leadership Institute's campus reform. They all have one thing in common, and that's that socialism is viewed as highbrow. It's viewed as compassionate. And if you dare support capitalism or free markets, you're evil. You don't care about poor people. And I think the left is winning the messaging battle right now by teaching people that socialism is tolerant. And it's, it's not actually in line with what history has shown as socialism really is. Yeah. Well, this is what the finance economy has brought us. Yeah. Kevin Phillips, 